A very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabith. Now before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. Minister Dinesh Gunavardhana to address the 43rd session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva today. The inaugural Executive Council of the Sri Lanka Freedom People's Alliance met at Temple Trees. Fake white van drivers nabbed for a robbery. Water supply to several areas in Gampaha will be disrupted for a period of 18 hours from 9 a.m. today. New Delhi protests kill 13 in the deadliest violence. In our lead story, Minister of Foreign Relations Dinesh Gunavardhana, who leads the Sri Lanka delegation to the 43rd session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva, is slated to address the session at 3.50 p.m. of Sri Lankan time today. The minister is listed to address the high-level segment of the Human Rights Council today where he will formally inform the stance of the government of Sri Lanka to the council. The minister is expected to clarify about the withdrawal of its core sponsorship of resolutions 30-1 and 40-1. Minister Gunawardhana will make an oral update to the High Commissioner on tomorrow. The Sri Lanka delegation includes State Minister Mahinda Samarasingha, Foreign Secretary Ravinath Arya Singha, Additional Secretary to the President Jayanath Kolambage, Deputy Solicitor General Neril Pulle, and several other key officials. During the session, Minister Dinesh Gunavardhana will call on several officials, including the Director General of the United Nations Office in Geneva and the Secretary General of the Inter-Parliamentary Union. The inaugural Executive Council of the Sri Lanka Freedom People's Alliance met at Temple Trees. Another five political parties joined the alliance at the event. The first executive meeting of the Sri Lanka Freedom People's Alliance was held under the patronage of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha. President Gotabe Rajapaksha, former President Maitripala Sirisena and SLPP founder Basil Rajapaksha were also present. Speaking at the inauguration of the Executive Committee, Basil Rajapaksha said that there are already nine registered political parties in the alliance. He also stated that other parties who had joined in the last election would be included in the alliance when the registration is completed. Accordingly, the new alliance has 14 members. Two individuals who were involved in the controversial White Van media conference conducted by former Minister Rajita Sena Ratna have been arrested in connection with a robbery. Ten suspects have been arrested over a robbery of cash to the tune of 4.4 million rupees, which took place recently in the Gampaha area. The police said the suspects include two individuals who were involved in the controversial White Van Media Conference conducted by former Minister Rajita Sena Ratna last year. In more news at home, March 12 movement, a collective of civil society organizations called on the government to refrain from nominating corrupt individuals for the upcoming general election. Members of the March 12th movement met with the Prime Minister and the leader of ruling party Sri Lanka Podhujana Piramuna Mahinda Rajapaksha at the Prime Minister's official residence at Vijay Rama Mavatha and requested him to nominate only those with a broader vision of the country and skills at the upcoming parliamentary elections. Movement. We met the Prime Minister today and we are meeting all other political party leaders during this period and we are appealing each and every political party leaders to bring a capable quality people for upcoming parliamentary elections. The Prime Minister agreed to March 12 movement that uh, to bring a, a capable people in his list and also we, uh, we request him to bring a, a youth and the women also uh, into uh, their nomination list. The biggest issue which we discussed today about the uh, national list, uh, we have experience in the last parliament there are a lot of uh, uh, losing candidates uh, came through the national list to the parliament and they got the ministerial portfolio also. Uh, the Prime Minister clearly stated that he will not do that in the coming parliamentary election. So we believe that the next parliamentary elections as a party leader 
uh, he will consider our request and he will consider the Marshall criteria when he is selecting their candidate. And also we have uh, extended our invitations to the March 12th event at the BMICH in uh, coming March 12th and we are trying to get the endorsement from the, from the political parties uh, again on uh, the coming elections. Still in news at home, the Police Narcotics Bureau says six suspects have been arrested along with over 4 kilograms and 290 grams of heroin from Dehivala and Maharagama areas. The suspects include two Maldivians and four Sri Lankans. Two cars have also been taken into custody along with the suspects. The Police Narcotics Bureau stated that the suspects aged between 26 and 28 years will be produced before the Mount Lavinia Magistrates Court. The Police Narcotics Bureau is conducting further investigations into the incident. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board says that the water supply to several areas in Gampaha will be disrupted for a period of 18 hours from 9 a.m. today. The water supply will be suspended in Jaila, Katunaika, Siduwa, Ekkala, Kandana, Anya Kanda, Batagama, Tudala, Nivandama, Maelia, Keravalapitiya, Matagoda, Velisara, Mabola, Alapitivala, Mahabage, Dikovita, Usvatikeyava, Pamunugama and Bopitiya. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board stated that the water supply will be disrupted due to essential improvements in the Kelenia area. Let's now take a look at the very latest in the sports arena. The Sri Lanka Air Force and the Eagles Golf Links hosted the Commander's Cup 2020 annual golf tournament in the picturesque setting of China Bay close to the harbour city of Trincomalee. The tournament, played under the handicap rules, was open to all the participation of 102 enthusiastic golfers from Sri Lanka and two ambassadors, Mr. Hanthu, Ambassador of Myanmar, and Mr. Agusti Nagura Adias, Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia. Mr. Serene Premathilaka won the Commander's Cup 2020, securing the highest marks in the Gents Division of 40 points, while Mrs. Nilu Jayatilaka won the Ladies Trophy with a total score of 36 points. The awards were given away at a gala award ceremony held at the clubhouse during the afternoon of the same day. The commander of the Air Force, Air Marshal Sumangala Dias and Mrs. Mayuri Prabhavi Dias were present at the links. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. Have a great day and take care.